Hello Aries, it is the Sun Sage. Thank you so much for tuning in to your November reading where I am taking a look at the month of November for you guys to see what the en energies are, what's going on, okay, throughout the month of November that you need to know about. So for Aries placements, okay, this is your reading. This may also resonate with cross watchers of Aries, okay? So let's take a look Aries at what's going on in the month of November for you. All right. Fresh start. Okay. What else do we have for Aries in the month of November? Sacred space. You guys may be moving into a new space, a new home, a new neighborhood, something, compromise. Okay. You could be feeling very sacred, very off limits in the month of November, just like very uh, special and um, that, that could be a good thing for sure. I feel like the energy is that a lot of you could feel um, very secure in yourself, very secure in the moves you're making and how things are playing out. So you have some sort of fresh start. You know, this is kind of like the full energy is giving new beginning and it says new opportunity, release the past. This is your second chance. So for some of you, you may be giving someone a second chance or cross watcher. You could be given a second chance to someone or you could be giving a, getting a second chance at an opportunity. Okay. To start fresh. If it feels like it had like some type of baggage tied to it, that says release the past. So this could be be like somebody shows up and the energy is really fresh and it's really inviting and you're like mm, I I don't like how things ended with this person months years ago but I am going to give this a new start so I feel like it could be like that it could also be a job situation you could also again be moving into a new place there could be a new neighborhood there could just be some new energy okay some of you may be um taking classes to learn something new as well giving something a second try page of cups okay so this could definitely be about a love interest this could be about new feelings for someone this feels like puppy love it kind of feels like there's a new like somebody that has you feeling really good about sharing your feelings somebody that could um be showing up as very sensitive maybe you know a friend you know this starts off as like a friend zone type energy but this could be picking up throughout november some of you get a message from somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while too with this page of cups. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, Eight of Pentacles. And if this is about like a new job, yeah, because some of you could be getting a new job, uh, um, a fresh start with a job that you left or you were thinking about leaving and there could be like more money. They're like, we'll pay you more or something with the page. cut. That could be the good news, right? So you're like, okay, I'll stay, you know, I'll give it another try. I'll give this another go. Something has more potential this time around. Okay. So that's the theme with fresh start. Something definitely has a better chance of succeeding and working out this time around, whether that's a relationship, a project, a job opportunity. It definitely feels like something is going to be more prosperous. Okay. You're working really hard on making something work in November. So the high priestess, I feel like a lot of you are also increasing your intuitive power. You're trusting yourself more. You're trusting your gut. You're trusting your intuition. Okay. Um, some of you are definitely, um, tapping in in November to what it is you want, how it is you feel, and you're not compromising or budging on that. Something does feel like good news about money and you just know it's happening or, or going to come in. You just know something is going to work out financially. The four of swords. Yeah, it could be like a, e a month of ease for you. You're not putting too much force or work into something. Like I do feel like you work hard, but I definitely feel like there's a fresh start here where you can like get a little bit of relief, take a load off. You don't have to like uh, feel a lot of pressure. Okay. So you may feel very relaxed 
throughout the month of November. You may feel like things are going, I just know things are going to work out. I know I'm going to heal through this situation. I know things are getting better. I feel good about something. Okay. Some of you are just like retreating as well from certain situations or just like the world and you're spending more time to yourself. So that fresh start and new beginning is about you sort of cleansing and giving yourself a fair shot, giving yourself a new start. Okay, so sacred space, altar, prayer, candles, commune with your own divinity. So this could be like something you're doing within your home. Um, a lot of you could be like just getting cozy, you know, candles, uh, lighting, um, buying yourself new furnishings, uh, decor could be very significant for you in the month of November. It does feel like you're creating a sacred space so you can feel more comfortable. This also feels like somebody moving in with someone. And so this could be like the first someone's first like real relationship or someone's first serious relationship in a long time. And you're just working on making things feel like come together and feel really comfortable and cozy for both of you. Okay. Some of you are stepping into your new home on your own. You know, you're, you've done this, you've accomplished this by yourself. There could be energies of others like that are moving back home, but just to a sacred, comfortable space. Show me a sacred space. Five of cups. Yeah. I feel like something you left behind or something like propelled you to like find your peace. It feels like some type of like loss or disappointment in a person or situation. Um, it actually feels like, you know, healing from that and finding peace in that situation. It feels like you were able to think clearly and able to like um, work through it or you will in November, you'll be able to work through something through prayer, through meditation, through retreating and relaxing. Something could be um, very disappointing or bothersome to you. And I feel like you're your comfort, your, your space helps you like move on from it or helps you heal from it. Show me the five of cups, 10 of wands. This is definitely moving. Some of you are definitely leaving like a place that you had emotional ties to. And so it's just really tough and it could feel really like, like it's weighing you down or like it could weigh you down if you don't release it. Some of you are getting rid of things too. That's a part of cleansing your space. You're just like moving things out. You're like getting rid of um, old furniture, old clothes, anything that feels like baggage. Somebody may even be getting rid of like pictures of like exes. The sun. Yeah. I feel like there's something about moving or moving on that makes you very happy in the month of November. All right. You could feel very at peace, very warm, releasing something that feels like emotional baggage, something that feels like it was uh, cl like clouding up your space, making things less clear, making things less peaceful for you. Someone's definitely getting rid of pictures of an ex. Or stuff from an ex, like maybe gifts that an ex gave you. Leo energy here. The sun, the hangman. I feel like you're ending something and starting something simultaneously, right? And so that could even be a relationship where you're still healing from that person. You still could have feelings, mixed feelings, wanting to be with them but you're excited about a new person. You could also be like feeling like I, I miss my old place, you know, the, the coffee shop, but I do love this new place. You know, there's a lake, you know, it's just like something that is like, you know, you have to give up something, but you're giving in and you're sacrificing something in order to have that happiness. Um, so it does feel like it's balancing out, I guess, is the overall vibe. Something, yes, you release and you heal from and you let go, but you also feel like you're like receiving as well and surrendering. Um, you're not holding on to things that no longer serve you. And that feels like it frees you up to receive more blessings. Okay. Pisces energy here. Yeah, you're happily letting something go. I feel like it starts off sad and throughout the month, as the month progresses, you're like, yeah, this feels really good letting this go. 
So compromise. Compromise says mutual understanding, flexibility, give and take brings rewards. So some of you definitely could be moving in with a lover or you could be finding some type of harmony in relationships or a specific relationship in your life. Like I said, things are balancing out. There's some sort of compromise specifically when it comes to like a home or office space or something like that. Um, but I definitely feel the energy areas of you guys reaching a mutual understanding with someone and having a better relationship with them because of it. Somebody does want to work things out with you. The world. Yeah, it's not over. <laughs> the world in the reverse. Somebody's resisting moving on, you know, from you or a situation. You're starting over, but you could be starting over together. All right. Let's release what happened in the past. Let's uh, revisit some type of lesson here. This can be a positive or a negative. Let's see the world in the reverse. Six of swords. Yeah, still about some type of movement. If you're moving on from someone throughout November and trying to heal from them, you're like, I'm not thinking about this person anymore. I feel like this person um, is like coming towards you. They don't want you to move on. They're like, can we compromise? Can we work things out? Show me the six of swords. There you go. King of Wands. Yeah. You have somebody, Aries, that could want to work things out with you and make peace with you just as like you think it's over or someone thinks it's over. It's like there's some action. Um, some of you may actually be talking to someone new or you could have a new love interest in your life. And then this past love returns. Fire, strong, passionate energy, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius with this. Also somebody who feels like they're very, you know, attractive. Um, they're not closing the door on you. I feel like if you're trying, like this person could be in the way of you moving on in November. Like they could be sending you, um, they could be reaching out to you, communicating to you, traveling towards you, trying to tempt you. <laughs> All right. What's the King of Wands? The Eight of Cups. Yeah. As you're walking away. I definitely feel like Somebody feels you pulling away and at peace and this person is going to like reemerge <laughs> or like this person is um, coming back right as you're like starting over, right? That's what it feels like. This person wants to come back to you. Um, they're not over the past as you are trying to heal and get over the past. This is someone that feels like they could be... Um, Following you in the sense of you're moving on from them. You don't like call them or message them anymore, but this person could still like watch you on social media or something. They're not over you. Somebody's not over you and they want to compromise in November. However that plays out, this person feels like they're, they walked away and they're walking right back because they walked towards something that feels like it didn't make them happy. And so they're most likely coming back. All right, Aries, that is what I have for you guys for the month of November. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, check out that link in the description box.